Good morning guys. For today's video, I am heading onto Crocodile Creek where they have the very famous crocodile steaks and burgers. Just gonna meet up with my friend Jay and we're gonna head out there. Check you guys later. Okay, we're now en route to Crocodile Creek. This will make Jay. Jay, what's up? What's up? <laughs> Okay guys, we are at Crocodile Creek. Let's go check some crocs and have some food. Croc Creek Challenge. Yeah, see what it is. <laughs> oh, this is cool, eh? Oh, this is nice. This is nice. <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> bumpy ride it was. It was. Indeed a bumpy ride. Checking for any profiles around here. Never know one drop loose. Looks like we're the only ones, yeah. Close on the trunk and monkey skin the suit, eh? Audio jungle.
many of you guys have been here before? Foster. None of you? You guys? No. No? Okay, let's give you a little bit of background. Okay, Crocodile Creek's been here for 39 years. I've worked here for a total of 36. So we started with 72, we built up on that stock. So if you take 30 of those crocodiles, lay 40 eggs, you can end up getting 2,000, 3,000 eggs, 50% baby. So once your crocs start breeding, you will then double, 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 double as time goes on. Then the purpose for growing crocodiles is threefold. Okay, they an endangered species, for one. How do you and I protect a crocodile? How does nature conservation go by protecting a crocodile? They don't, because a crocodile becomes dangerous to people, they'll shoot it. Hmm. They won't necessarily even take the time to capture it and relocate it. Because in the past, crocs that were relocated would move back to where their area they come from. So they'd have to take, change this whole distance of where they're relocating it. So that puts a big dilemma in for conservation versus people. So in 30 years time, I can promise you now, if changes are not made quickly, crocs will be extinct from the wild. The skin is used, the byproducts, the fat, the tongues, the hearts, the valve flaps, go to traditional medicine. Fat, croc fat, if you can render it properly in almost a pharmaceutical type scenario, you're looking at 50,000 Rand plus for the machine. And it'll probably produce you about three liters of oil a day. It's worth a thousand US dollars because it will work for psoriasis and eczema and warts and sores and scratches and all sorts of skin, skin, skin infections. When a crocodile has its nose bitten off like that in a scuffle, in four weeks it heals closed in what you and I would regard as dirty water. Okay, so over his eye he's got a nictitating membrane which gives him clear vision. And if you're wearing red or yellow, the crocodiles will associate better with you. Because our workers wear red and yellow. Behind his eyes are his ears. Not only does he hear sound, but he can pick up vibrations 10, 15 kilometers away. So you guys, they have 66 teeth, and they can replace them 45 times. Sorry, yes. Do, the eyes open all the their time? eyes are open. Well, not all the time. They can close their eyes. There's a gate to lying with his eyes closed. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then you'll see sometimes they lie with their eyes. It sits. Why? Because yeah. it's like you putting sunglasses on. Mm -hmm. Look at the sun shining in my eyes all day. Okay. So there's the membrane that will come out from the front to the back. Mm -hmm. I'm going to get that close on. Come with there. Okay. No. See so there, it starts coming back to not open. No, it opens. But he can tuck his left eye and he can look at you with the right eye, he could tuck both eyes into his head. Can you get hold him? Yeah. Around his neck, under his tail. Um, so this crocodile is five years old. Most of the brothers Maybe. and sisters of this crocodile are this big. So they like people, you get tall ones, you get short ones, you get fat ones, you get skinny ones. In the wild, one in one hundred become a big one. An old one, yeah. yeah. Don't you want to come down a bit so you your camera's in the sun, right in the, uh, behind you? Mm -hmm. Do you keep pressing there so it doesn't uh, open its mouth? Yes. That's quite scary. Normally I put insulation tape around his mouth, <laughs> but I did remember to pick up a rubber band today. He could stretch. What's his weight? I'm probably two kilos, two and a half kilos, I suppose. Hmm. Maybe, but no. But when you when you feel his strength, yeah. and he feels like ten, <laughs> it's, whoops, it's, it's more. It's almost like holding a snake. Yeah, so hold yeah, it behind its jaw. Yeah. 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 I, you know what the thing is? It gives you control of his neck. This crocodile, yeah, in 2001, he lived with the same females. He was on that side of the pond, and I walked up to him like this with my stick in my hand, and I tapped him on the nose. Hey boy, are you awake today? And he opened his mouth like that, so I took the piece of meat I had for him and tucked it in his mouth, stepped back like this, and I was talking to people on my left, and as I looked up like this, the crocodile jumped forward, closed his mouth, missed, second one, tore into the front of my shin. 
It took 11 months for my leg to heal. Why did he bite me? Simple. No tablets for stupid people. If you want to mess around with a big crocodile that's four meters and get close to him and everything, there is a risk of getting bitten. There's a risk of not only getting bitten, but getting killed. So the thing is, no crocodile, no snake, no tortoise, no rabbit, no any animal, domestic or wild, will attack you for nothing. I've got 27 years with this crocodile, so he's like my buddy. I've probably seen this crocodile in hours more than I've seen my own children or my wife in the 18 years we've been married. Because I'm here every day. One more. One more, baby. Okay, now if you have a look there on her back, you'll see there on her back there's a whole lot of blood. Now obviously she's been bitten. But this girl here is 43 years old. She is from Zimbabwe. And you can see she's got two buttons on her neck. And even if you come into South Africa, you'll find a lot of crocodiles have the two buttons on their neck. Um, they will might vary in color and pigmentation from area to area. And she weighs about 300, 340 kgs, I suppose. And she's 40. Um, 3 to 45 years old. Hannibal 77, he came from Botswana, he was rescued in a drought in the early 80s. He then went to Mariental in Namibia and then he came to Crocodile Creek. Um, and then he spent 25 years of his life up at the top there where we're going to feed just now. And he then got moved down here in 2018. She got moved here the later part of 2017 and then when he came here in 18 it was about March. So we were moving into the next phase of the breeding. She changed dramatically from the attitude she had there to the attitude in here with this big ankya. It's an amazing happy wife, happy life. So she had to compete with all the other girls and she had stresses that you probably wouldn't understand and now she moved in here she's got no stress she's got the best car on the farm so life looks like a breeze so she's really she's really enjoying it last year's egg she unfortunately aborted in the water and we didn't get any hatchlings. but she was infertile down there for four years and her first season she laid a 40 percent so it's incredible can you say hello to everybody and the book Say hello. Good morning. Hey. Good morning. Hey. Can you say hello more morning? Nice big morning. I'll give you a big stretch. Good boy. Good boy. So around these girl 2.2 meters. I've not even sat on a horse that is that wide. Okay, but this is the only crocodile in South Africa that will allow me to do this. Hmm. There you go. Giddy up, let me go for a walk. So, me walking up to him where he was against the wall, putting my foot on his tail like that, and he missing at me and everything. And then I decided to enter into the Captain Morgan puzzle. Because I was standing like this, so I thought, well, I could come along, stand on his back, have my Captain Morgan bottle, and I could do some pictures, send it in. Nobody would have had. A picture, turn your face like that, with his mouth open and me down like this, with a bottle up like that. Maybe my pose wasn't the best, but um, as I was doing it, I should have been like that. And in any case, I got a, I won the bloggy camera, uh, bloggy camera for the best photo of 2011. Okay, do you want to come this way? Because the crocodile's mouth is very big. Okay, so I can lie on his back like this. Come on, talk to me. Talk to me, are we going to go for a walk? Come, let's go for a walk, come. Walk east, let's go. He ate his face to be touched. In Afrikaans there's a saying, put net me on my gesicht, but in my gesicht, but. 
He doesn't like that at all. Oh, he does do push-ups. Stand up. Up in. Up in. Don't make him pick you up. Stand up on your own. Come. Up in. One more. Up in. And he's ticklish. Tickle, tickle, tickle. Tickle, tickle, tickle. That's big turn and face. Big turn and face. So I have sat on him like that and I've moved his back legs or you know you know when you've got a big Rottweiler or board ball or something like that you, you walk up to him and he's done something really good you want to put your arm around and go good oh boy well done okay and I thought you know what I can't do that because get, I get chopped so what I've done is I come behind him and I go like this come on boy let's go for walk walk hey walk let's go where are you going where are you going where are you going let's go for walk walk that way come walk this way he says, you fight taking my fat rolls, I don't like taking my fat rolls. So this one, go. Can you go, lie in the sun. Okay, but sometimes he gets just a little bit irritated and he'll just start walking. So crocodile burgers have arrived. That's the croc patty. How's it? Chicken. <laughs> It's actually a like chicken, but um, it's got a different taste. It's like chicken, but it's got like a little bit of a different taste. Slightly. Mm. Slightly. Slightly different. I don't know if the cheese is brand new or mm. It does have a bit of um, toughness. Mm. Slightly too. Mm. It's, it's very nice. No, it's very good. It's actually really lean. Mm. There's not much of fat. Mm -hmm. The, the cheese complements it. Yeah, this is the actual crackle out burger. It's very lean. I think we have the steak. A little bit more. You do get that uh, after the mm. after taste. But it's nice. Mm. When I taste it with the tomato, it tastes very nice as well. Mm. It's not too good. Yeah. You take the pocket of one, one. Mm. Mm. Expensive, huh? Well, I don't know if that's really expensive, you know? Because I mean, things that will last your lifetime. Mm. It won't, it's not this like, just for now. I'm the proud. Mm. That 
best one to unwind, but one to unwind. I think it's cheaper because it's short. But it's a bit heavy. Yeah, the bolt is heavy. Yeah. I just don't like bolts with like this. Like this. <sighs> I like the flip bucket. Mm -hmm. But I guess you can't really have a flip buckle with a bolt like that. Well guys, our tour has ended. It was quite an interesting and fun day knowing about the crux. And that crocodile burger was actually quite good. Um, it was a bit like chicken, but it actually had a good texture. Not very gamey. But yeah, I'd advise you to actually give it a try.